Hello, darlings, loves, cutifuls. Um, this is a raising awareness video, so welcome. I don't know how we are going to do this, but probably let me just switch the, uh, these ones so you can see it better. Now, here we are. We need me here. Here, where I am. Where am I? Yes, here. So I'm going to make this one small, invisible. Awesome. Something like this. Something like this. This is gonna. This is gonna kind of do. So. Uh, here is the deal. I, in the process of saving this channel, tried to s create a blog where I would basically do the same I'm doing on my reaction videos, but not so much because it's a written word, first things first and second thing second, because I can go deeper in, in the blog than I am able to produce when doing reaction video maybe because I'm basically writing when I'm not distracted with audio like you know how these things works or not good on you if you don't but uh, okay I made my I, I can for, okay I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger for now <laughs> anyhow uh, so I set a block with the intention of slowly slowly trying to write stories there as well but it gets complicated because I want the book to be monetized and at the same time I can't uh, monetize monetize a content that is like for adult uh, like at least not with the same type of ad networks or how they are called so hmm, I'm trying to dig out some solutions I have known yet but this, this was kind of my intention, my, mm, it, it's just, you know, like, it, it's mm, somewhere in the corner of my head, mm, doing the things that ghosts do, and I am thinking, like, maybe I can start with uh, creating non-18 plus content and putting it there. But, hey, where is the monetization and how far is that one? Anyhow, where I started is creating posts there that are consisting of rambles about YouTube that is not important for you, but it's as well consisting of, of like some reviews in the middle or at the end, like final reviews uh, for audiovisuals, stories, series and, and movies. Uh, so far only series, yeah. <laughs> so I'm rambling there. Uh, being funny, witty, whatever, and uh, butchering English language further. One part of it. The second part of it, I am writing their general articles about boy love genre. Boy love genre. <laughs> and, 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 and I was, I believe it was yesterday. I was by an accident on my drama list on passenger page and I have seen there this question about what time traveling uh, pages are there for Boy Love Jana. Okay, let me rephrase that, that one. Uh, a person was searching for a list of audio visuals uh, that are under category of Boy Love but as well time traveling. And I realized when I am searching something on the internet or when I want to know something, I don't know where to go. I said as well, probably there is a page that would, you know, dedicate their time to do something like this, like uh, creating lists of something. It's not my primary, uh, like it's not primarily my intention to do on my blog the lists. But when I was at it, I decided to create it. And I'm kind of grateful because I then uh, digged out... Um, wait a second, let's, let's find it through this one because this is going to be easier. <laughs> no, because it cannot be copied. Uh, 
uh, I find the list afterwards of of Boy Love Watcher. I think I have seen Boy Love Watcher page on uh, After Hours channel when she was creating something. Uh, a list of, uh, of favorite uh, boy love for a year 2022 at the beginning of 2023. So I have seen these list some list somewhere, and I kind of realized that this is this is it when I refound it. But then again, I checked out. I checked out specifically the boy love series uh, time travel. No, it was romance offices actually yeah romance offices and i checked the list uh, let me just find it okay uh no i'm going to rumble about it further so please stay tuned office romance boy love series it, there is 17 audio visuals currently but if you check out my list which, which we are going to do later i have way more uh things here on the list for some reason i'm going to explain this explain the specifics later on uh, so the question was about the time travel boy love and the, the suggested way how to find it was to uh, search through my drama list and put their time traveling and i think i believe there was something like check the uh, check for like the boy love category whatever and i'm like no i'm not gonna do that because i first don't know like how and second there should really be a list for specifically boy love genre and like searching for like time travel i i'm searching boy love it i maybe i don't have it here even like that clearly stated but i'm like searching like mainly i'm interested in boy love and secondly i am interested into the time traveling and I am like, okay, I'm going to create it because I basically started to create the list for that person on my drama list. And I'm like, when I have this blog, like, why not to create it? And as well, it's gonna help me if I'm searching for it later on, I'm going to have it I, and I'm going to know where it is. So what I basically did on my drama list is that I... Um, passenger, right? I went through this, I went through this dude and I said to my journalist, I am searching for time travel. And the, the results are 774. It's like on 30 some, 39, 40 pages here, like this pages. Uh, and I'm like, like, cool. But then I was like at page 16 and I'm like, no, I'm going to make a post out of it on, on my blog. So it's not that much, but if you are new to it and if you uh, like don't know what you are searching for or when we're there yet, it's going to be way more difficult for you than it is going for me because uh, I am uh, diligently putting on my drama list what I am like watching. <laughs> what I'm watching, what I want to watch, what I have on, like, blah, blah, blah. I have it on my drama list, stated. Uh, like, it's, you know, like, this is, it's, what I mean is basically this, my watch list. I have everything that I have watched on this list. Wait a second. It's stuck. Why are you stuck? I don't want you to be stuck. Okay. Uh, it's 700 something, so don't worry. 700, yeah, 95 currently so slow this year never mind um it's because i'm doing reaction video for it videos for it this is it slowed me um significantly down plan to watch uh some are on hold but basically those are mostly that i want to watch it and there is some issue with it uh, it's it cannot be found on internet or, or something or that I want to uh, uh, put it out of this category and I plan to uh, like watch it in advance compared to other ones that I have that I'm currently watching I am not <laughs> I'm not 
So I put it here because there is just like 10 somethings. Uh, yeah, for example, history. Because, uh, for example, history, I wanted to watch it. I didn't manage at that time. So I s decided to put it here uh, to know that it is something that aired already. I, sh I should have watched it and I didn't. So from time to time, I'm going to get rid of like the, the on hole and drop category and like decide whether I'm going to watch it or not at all. Then I delete that I intend to watch it and or I put it like plan to watch or uh, currently watching or already like completed. But because of this list of over 700, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like over thousand audio visuals that I have here on this list. I can just very easily check out what is, um, okay, what is, can you, okay, did I, yeah, I made myself too big, sorry for this one, yeah, uh, okay, maybe I'm going to put it here for a second, so, uh, because of this list, I can here very easily say that I did watch it because of this pencil. And because I know there is only a couple of things that is not in boy love category, it's very easy for me to like, you know, like know that I can put it into the list. So I basically did the, the thing that I have here, checked time travel, and I don't have to categorize it according to the boy love because it is basically mostly what I watch only, not only only, but I, it's like 95% of what I have on my on my list. Uh, so I knew that tomorrow I'm not going to put on the list. I hesitated because there is some boy love kind of cute of something, I believe, but I decided against it for reasons I'm not going to specify now. But uh, so I opened all of these and then I made a list. Then I a little bit sophisticated that list and the result of is uh, of it is this list. That consists of I don't know how ma how many of these series, mostly Thailand, but not only, which is as well advantage. It's not only Thailand series I have here, here on my list because the question was about boy love genre and time traveling, so I didn't care about which country it is. But here I am specifying it further, uh, which country because if you want to avoid something and so on and so forth, it's gonna be easier for you. But mostly it's Thailand, but not only because the, the here is Taiwan and he, there is some South Korean, there is some China as well, Chinese uh, Guardian. I was very surprised, but it's true that it's time traveling. Yeah, so uh, then I decided that I want some basic info here and that I want to connect it with my drama list. So it should be i didn't check it out i just verified it through the uh like link cracker how is it called if it is if it works if it doesn't let me know in the comment section below because there are able comments to put it here you, you see you can put it like you can <laughs> you can put i didn't know i don't have experience with blogger this is my first one so you can comment here, I believe, even like an, an anonymous, and you can always, I appreciate it, like say to me there are there is some missing audiovisuals for this category that I don't have on the list, I'm going to edit. Or, um, or that some links does not work, I will appreciate the one as well. So this was, this was made according to the question for this series specifically. Uh, this is taken, the source is always my drama list, but I started to rephrase the, the texts here, which is it's gonna take some time, so stay tuned and be patient, please. But yeah, this is what I started with. But because my personal weakness is, and because like, mm, how is it called? My, my king, my king. Uh, one of my kings is office romance. First things first, when I started to do this list, I was so surprised that my drama list does not have the category of office romance. I was like, what? But if you check out and verify it, I verified it. I was so grateful that uh, this this um, this uh, page has 
uh, it under office romance because office romance is kind of the first category I came to the contact with that I understood and somehow I understood it somehow at first and I kind of realized that this is one that is close to me right now compared to university setting series you know so office romance on uh, boy love watcher exist exist it exists exists but not on my drama list and I'm like what who betrayed me here so I wanted to create a list of uh, Office Romance Boy Love series. Now this one looks very similar to the one I made for time traveling Boy Love list because it's under construction right now. It's not completed, it's not verified, it's not sophisticated. It's ju it just exists as of now. Uh, for the pleasure of one thing basically only, I hope that makes sense, even though it's probably not how English, la English language, English sentence should be constructed, but for the pleasure of creating this category on my blog, as well for kind of realizing that I'm going to have here way more series than is on Boy Love Watcher, and uh, especially because when I am searching for it, I can I never know where to search for it, and I got annoyed by it, and I decided to create it for for. Okay, the, the big reason is me. I wanted to have it somewhere, but I I am putting it on internet in hopes that it's gonna you know help you as well, especially like. As I say, like when you have this experience of thousand, thousands, how much audio visuals of boy love cat uh, category, uh, it's not gonna be that difficult for you because you can still search it through my drama list. But it's just I wouldn't want to do it if I don't have experience at all, and I just want to consume these audio visuals quickly and uh, and and quickly and effectively. So I kind of decided that yes, the list is kind of cool. And I created now the second one. So under construction, it looks kind of like this. It's only like the name of it and the year. Uh, I didn't decide it yet on one thing. And here we are going to elaborate a little bit more. Uh, Office Romance Boy Love Series. This is the, 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 the category I agree with, the name of it. And that's why I named it the same. Uh, my point in creating it though was mainly basically in like for a huge need. I don't know how to put it. It's not it maybe even important. The main reason is um, for me this subcategory subcategorization because. Later on, when I decided that okay, I'm I, I'm kind of good. I want to watch boy uh, office romance boy love series, and I love them, and I consume them, and I it's like one of my preferred category. Uh, I kind of didn't realize it at, at that time. It kind of settled down only when I started to create this post, this categorization, and it basically means that I. I kind of it I missed in my head it probably exists there somewhere but not in this like I have a plan now I see and understand things better it happened only with this article uh, I didn't realize that office romances are actually uh, divided into subcategories and the subcategories I came up with is both employee relationship which is kind of a huge category it's maybe one of the most frequent one but I may I might be wrong, but but it from the list it seems that there is the, this is the biggest one. Uh, like it has the, the biggest number of series under it, the the, the boss employee uh, subcategory. 
and I'm like, okay, yes, maybe it's true, maybe I am under this category and this is why my the most beloved one that I want to watch, it kind of, it's understandable because of the vast uh, audio visuals I enjoyed and stories and series I enjoyed. It's probably, it makes sense, it's, it's okay, so I'm under the boss employee uh, relationship category, uh, I'm 100% for it. I kind of realize that people are constantly rambling about it, they are so much against it, there is some power issues and idiotic stuff that happen on work, uh, work settings, but hell, heck, it's maybe my kink or something, and I'm fine with it, whatever, it's just, it's one of the existing category, you didn't in, invented it, so why would you be like, you know, like, it's, it's, it, it, it is there, it is there, it exists, and it's not always like toxic relationships, no matter how much people try to make it out of it. And then I slapped myself and I said, oh, sure, but bad friend series isn't a boss employee relationship, right? Or, or it, it is, but it's, in the whole and whole wrong way type of boss employee relationship the actual relationship between uh, happens between colleagues i didn't know how to name it so i named it kind of love between colleagues but the initial name for it was just colleagues dot no, nothing else like colleagues dot this is the category or subcategory um but let's take a step back because on my drama list you can find the boss employee relationship tech you can't find there the office romance tech or i didn't if if it exists please write it down for me no matter youtube no matter blog let me know that i am the stupid one but i didn't find it at the moment like at, the, at that point when i created this post but what exists there is the boss employee relationship and office setting and I am like, uh -huh. but office setting, it means both boss employee relationship and love between colleagues, right? It's office setting. And as well, I kind of loosely, for some reason, don't ask me why. I feel like even series like um, Our Dining Table, is it called in the English language? I, I, I don't have it in my in my mind in my head I don't have it uh, under this one uh, name uh, this one because this one is maybe I didn't have it wait a second maybe this one is as well office setting no, no the other one is it's not written here it's not written here but loosely because there is like in especially like Japanese series for me are so standing out in this regard, maybe for the clothes they are wearing at offices. But I feel like I loosely uh, connect the office setting even with something like this, uh, our dining table series. And if you watch it, you know that it is not basically like the the... the the story of it is not set in office, but one of them is an office worker and the office shows in the series and the other one is as well an employee or should I call him employee? He is working at uh, like this dining, whatever, restaurant or something like that. And he's as well there at, at work and it shows in the series. And it's not the primary goal of that series to show us that, but it's part of it. And I, I feel I loosely connect it with office setting or like an office romance because the people there are officers, kind of. So I'm going to probably connect with it as well this one because I haven't seen much. I, I always get like the first several minutes of first episode and I stop watching it because I would like to do a reaction video for it on Patreon, but there is not enough storage space. I don't know what to do. So yeah, but here as well, one of the main leads uh, main lead is a, an office worker and it shows in the series, so I expect I'm going to loosely connect it with office setting as well. So for me, office setting in the wider perspective means a character is working at an office, which is not strictly necessary to happen. Uh, oh, my assistant was uh, a perfect example of that one. The, 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 what, what was happening? No one was there in an office setting. 
there was an assistant, there was his kind of employee, and they were never in an office. There was They were at home, working from home, basically. I don't know, I just don't... This one is specifically the series I, I would put under the category of... of uh, office romance, but not office setting, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, here. So office setting there is not, but office romance for me it is because one is working under the other or one is working with the other. So it makes sense and it's not like it's a work for work, not to work for charity, like ch charity reasons, you know, like or, or, or just I'm helping my friend to have something or uh, f two students helping each other. It's not office romance. But if they are like working for or with each other, then it's office romance for me. And here we go with the specificity of my lists. And we are going to talk about it as the last part, probably, because I remembered it now. And I wanted to talk about it and I forget. But now we are going to talk about uh, the rest of it and then we are going to return to that. R um, remind me to tell you, please, okay? So, uh, office setting is kind of a frequent tech on my dramaist. It kind of is loosely meaning office romance, but I don't know what to make out of it if my wider like perspective of that subcategory means a character is working at office, but as well uh, when both an employee or employee and an em employee are in a romantic relationship, or it's alluded that it's, it is going to be a romantic relationship. Uh, I In this list, I didn't put the loose meaning of office setting for me. So you will not find there, uh, as of now, maybe I'm going to, if, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to extend the name of it and what I put there. But for now, office setting does not mean the loose sense or the loose meaning that it has for me. I'm not putting there a series that uh, consists of characters who are working at at an office. I'm just putting there who is actually like working together, uh, in a working together relationship. Mainly it's, m or, 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 either mainly it's, or secondary main male, uh, like support characters who are the most important ones after the main male leads, or after the main leads. We are going to get into that one. Love between colleagues or colleagues. It means that their relationship is based, like they have equal rights. They are not above each other. They might like one might be better at his work uh, and one might be worse at his work, but it's kind of equal relationship in this respect. Like th there is no um, power issues here. And I don't know how people are basically taking these type of relationships, but I guess there might be not such problems with uh, with it in the, in the eyes of people. Intern male mainly, I wouldn't even like connect it with office romance at first because it's something that is out of my. I don't know. I'm just missing this point at all. It kind of seems to me that interns are just students who are working at at there and. I, d I don't have any particular like interest in that category, but then I realized it exists when I went through uh, like uh, collecting names of the series and I hit at it, my, my eyes found it, and then I realized middleman's love. So we are going to put it there, and I put it there. Um, another category. Another category here is bodyguards, aka servants. It's either both or some of it. And I kind of make it one because I realized it, the series, because of which I, uh, I, I, I created that one, is probably that the guy was initially a bodyguard or a friend of the main male lead. So when I remembered kind of the features of that series, I decided that I'm going to not split it apart, but put it together, this category. And bodyguards, we are going to go there uh, to 
and uh, okay, I wanted to say something. Let's let's return to the thing uh, that my lists are all about, and what you might be confused at first for, for about it, but but you shouldn't. You shouldn't. And the thing is that as I written here. Uh, it is it is a list. It has it now has order. The other one doesn't, and it is not an exhaustive one because it is not what I was after. I was after basically to kind of make sure that what I put on the list is going really to be in those two categories. In this case, time travel and boy love, and in that one case, romance office and boy love, and. The the, the, the the important part about it is that some of them might not be typical boy love and you should be prepared for it. And I'm going to point out some of it, these now. Uh, for example, Father and Son, it's kind of very specific series. It's uh, definitely under the, under the category of time travel and boy love, that is. But don't be shocked about it too much as well. Some of them are series and some of them are movies. This is one another specificity. Uh, true for me, I don't really remember for some reason. I don't know what it is what it was all about. The orange from this category is the only one I'm not sure is boy love. So sorry if it isn't one. Let me know. Uh, no comment. No comment. No comment. This one, for example, this one is very specific because the time traveling happens there, but it's kind of. It's specific, the time traveling here. But as well, another type of specificity here is Mr. Queen. It's definitely not typical boy love. But who watched it is going to have an opinion about it. And please don't end up being mad at me. I hope you are going to have fun. But be very careful because, for example, Mr. Queen is not specific as well. It's South Korea. This is the first warning you should have. Uh, but it's very close to boy love. So I decided to put it here just to make it a little bit more divers diversified and different type of quality of audiovisuals and stuff like this. And it was like fun and it has a good rating on my drama list. So yeah, it is specific, but as well, I hope it's gonna because all of these time travelings as you will probably realize are very all of them are very different projects with very different points with time traveling and it's just even like the warp effect it's so so specific in time traveling uh subgenre or genre or what i should call it uh this one i haven't seen but I like the, the texts are kind of, I guess, like kind of, you, you can rely on that. Triage is probably for me more typical of a time traveling stuff. Yeah, this one I would call it in, in the time traveling department kind of more typical one, vice versa, probably as well. Uh, it's as well like in these projects, the, the, the time traveling is way more clear than in other ones' project, like um, Mr. No, like the time tra it depends, right? Because even time traveling is like divided into subcategories. So it's it's yeah. And one more thing you should be aware of is if the if there is no year of where it it was created, then it means that it is it is probably a project that is going to happen in the future, or it might not. But I put it there because Love Upon a Time, I believe it's going to exist. So I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it has its tag. So it should be like that. For a reverse for you, I have seen and reacted to trailers. Yeah. This one, I don't know anything whatsoever about this one. I believe I don't know anything as well. Maybe I have seen some trailer. I don't know. And Past Sanger is probably kind of rely uh, Like you can rely on it is time traveling. <sighs> so... In the case of a boy love genre, ro office romance or romance, yeah, office romance. Here, it is even more difficult maybe or it's way more easier. For example, love O2, it, maybe it shouldn't be there, but it's not between the gay couple that exists there. And even the gay couple, it's kind of, you know, censored adaptation of blah, blah, blah. So be careful about love O2. Uh, but, but if you watch that series, 
uh, even though like you are not being aware of it being it adap- like censored adaptation or being it boy love you are going to when you get to that stuff that is because Chinese series are so fucking long but uh, you are going to be able to discern it very quickly who is go like who is love interest of who so I like that series for that reason at least um I have watched those, for example, but I don't remember it was about it, right or wrong. I don't remember that one as well. Moonlight Chicken. I kind of realized... I didn't realize it is a romance office until I realized it because of this list. Uh, History Close to You... Yes, that was clear. That was clear, rom- romance office. Love in the Future, I haven't seen yet. Advance Bravely... It's one of the bodyguard. We are going to have it down there. Uh, Why Destiny? I don't remember which one was uh, the romance office there. Golden Blood. We are going to speak about it. Blah blah blah. Kim Posh the series was why basically I inserted the bodyguard subcategory in the romance office romance here. My two fear love. Well, I didn't realize that one uh, was a romance office. It's kind of, yeah. Uh, when the Devil Calls Your Name, Sun's Love, it's kind of clear-cut, romance, office, office romance. Uh, Nota Shingaru, round, round Trip to Love, yeah. That was not so clear for me. Irresistible Love, that was very clear for me. We are going to speak about it. Uh, this one I don't even know. Capture Lover, What's Up Man, yes. Uh, kiss the Boss, Bite Me. Uh, old fashioned cupcake, clear cut. Papa, what is love? I don't know. Did you laugh? Uh, I don't know. Ocean likes me. Direct to bite me. Maybe some of them are yet yeah, re- re- repetitive here. Radio is, for example, one of those series that should absolutely be Romance Office, but for some reason no one has it under the category. So please watch Radio. It's very funny, very witty uh, type of. Uh, how is it called? like comedy that is uh, stand wait a second i'm going to dig it out what i mean uh, yeah, oh. uh, 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 uh. i didn't like it until i started to like it uh uh-uh. it's not written here fuck it's not written here wait a second uh, sitcom Sitcom type of co- uh, comedy. Um, yeah, and here again, be careful because I inserted here loosely Goblin, the Devil Judge, and yeah, we best laugh. Uh, it's obviously again uh, Officer Men's. But Goblin and Devil Judge. You are maybe going to wonder, and I myself like wondered and hesitated where to put it. Goblin, I would say, is a very complicated. Like, it's complicated to categorize it, because I would say that in Goblin, it's, like, good, ro- like it's bromance, it's not boy love, it's, like, for the, but the fucking, it's so worth it watching it. Uh, Goblin has this point where uh, the two important boys, the two important men are in, a, like, mutual relationship, where in the past one was the boss of the other, and it now kind of seems as if they switch the positions and the one was boss of the first one, the second one was boss of the first one, though it's never like explicitly stated in the series and it they might as well be like in the same like level of importance or of a power. Uh, but <clears throat> they're just absolutely like, they have like different um, circle of of tasks that they need to do, to carry off. Grim Reaper, we are speaking about, and the Goblin. Uh, time traveling, it is for sure. It's not. Wait a second. They were in the past, and now they are in the present, and they never written to past. Is it time traveling? Fuck, it starts getting even more complicated. Never mind. Uh, but it's a romance office for me, and this is maybe the exception where I put it like loosely because they don't have an office setting, 
but they are kind of working together on tasks. So I inserted there the goblin. Be, 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 be mindful about it's one of the best bromances, but as well, it's very like in a loose sense. And even though it was like 2016 created, it's so much worth watching it. Or maybe you won't like it, I don't know, I'm not you. The Devil Judge. I have I had problem here if I should put them in the category of a uh, boss employee or if I should put them in the category of of co-workers. That is for sure. And it's as well bromance. So be mindful. I when once I'm going to put there that this from South Korea, you should have like clear image in your head already that it's not going to be boil up like you know it from Thailand series, no. Uh, I guess this is he yeah. So here I didn't put it here, but it's Office Romance Boy Love series. This is not cate subcategorized yet. Now here starts the subcategorization. Office setting is I didn't didn't do it properly, and I probably won't do it properly. But basically everything, or nearly everything, that has like office in it should be office setting. Which excludes from uh, with, uh, for us Goblin, which doesn't have an office there. Kind of. Maybe, of which I'm not sure, it excludes as well Kim Posh series because they don't have, and Golden Blood because they don't have an advanced bravery. Their offices are as well their homes, and I'm not sure if I should take it like that. I should, I should, I should correct this one so, so much, but don't mind me. Uh, so, office setting is everywhere that uh, is present an office. As you could probably, like, maybe you have called it. But I would like to state here as well that one of the specificity of my boy love series is that I'm going to categorize there as well girl love series. So if I say boy love, I'm specif like I'm I specifically am interested into the boy love part. But because I know that my audience is, comes probably mostly for the girl love stuff, uh, but they are like in a number. There are not so many girl love series from Asia that I know of, at least. So I I put it here as well, gap because LGBTQ plus it is. It is not boy love. I know. I should rename it. I know. <laughs> here is the gap. Gap the series and and other ones that are probably not up there and they should be probably there if it is not. I I haven't said yet in my mind what is the the thing that is under the subcategory yet. So, yeah. Uh, love made, yes, wish me luck, same difference. I went, as I said, I was uh, directing myself according to what was written on my drama list, if I didn't remember what the series is about. Love between colleagues, uh, here is, for example, Taiwanese series that, uh, okay, another specificity of my lists. I don't consider boy love genre only if there is if there, are, if there are main main leads boil up if there is a significant storyline of boil up that is not main main leads i am going to put it here as well for me at least i and i think for many people during covid love is science there was significant mm, line of boil up even though they were not main main leads but they were probably the most uh, important and beloved one from the whole series though people who watched it kind of loved all of the characters because they are they are good maybe you will not overly be happy with the main ma main leads but all of the other characters that are there are worth watching so love between colleagues here i'm i wasn't sure if there was any other type of relationship but mostly i guess they were colleagues so i put it here pain with love again specificity a little bit uh because they kind of work independently and they uh, because of a situation they were forced to work together and then one worked under another one so they were as well like a boss employee i'm not sure where to put it goblin love between colleagues uh devil judge love between colleagues as i already mentioned oh my assistant is for my like in my eyes it is not office setting but it's love between colleagues 
and as well they work independently uh, this is office setting I believe but I don't have it here do I okay maybe we are going to right away correct some mistakes <laughs> stick with me please we are going to end this end this video soon uh, I just wanted to show it to you and introduce it to you so just you know okay thank you for watching the list of time travel boy love cool uh, maybe I should as well put here something like that it is um, uh, LGBTQIA+. Uh, audio visual. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Cool. So, it, it, it caught your attention, you are probably interested into it. Thank you! I didn't expect it for some reason, but 77 compared to other uh, views on this on the post, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Okay, but this one is like for... It, it was there for a month already. And like... <laughs> okay. The only exception here is when I posted this, this article before episode 10 was released, The Promise. I'm not sure. No, never mind. Let's not discuss this. So, where were I? Ah. Uh, um, no, no, yeah. So, I should put uh, between colleagues as well into the, the office setting because it is happening in an office, right? So, here it is. And here it is. Uh, office setting. I don't have anything else to say to that. Love between colleagues. Uh, okay. War of war of why? I hope you are not going to ask me why is this one in here. But basically, I I believe if I say uh, like Bilisenk's characters, uh, aka like the first, second, and fourth story, are all about colleagues, if not all four of them. The third one is for me a little bit if they are not more like a student. I don't know where to put it, but maybe as well colleagues? <laughs> Rivals? Yeah. Intern main lead. I don't know much about it, and I don't know if in as SOTAS, uh, SOTAS S and uh, Top Secret together. I am not sure. But here I'm not, I don't literally, I don't know if it is in between male leads, main male leads, or if it is that it exists there and intern. Um, for sure, let me know if I'm mistaken about some of the series. But, uh, Sotas S, uh, I'm, sometimes I might put here under the label of inter male elite, for example, series that, that is, uh, you know, like circulating and revolving around an intern, but it is not that the two main male leads are interns or one of them is m m intern male lead. So if it happens, because it is named, I see now, intern male lead. So there should be at least one of the male leads and intern. But if I make a mistake, if it is not the main, okay, male lead. If it is not a lead or if it is not, uh, let me know, please, just let me know. Because sometimes I'm just like, I'm doing it not based on like facts and information. I'm basing, I, like I'm, I am uh, deciding based on my feelings from that audio visual. Uh, so it might happen fa quite frequently, especially if I did do it in like big quantity. Let me know if that happens. I'm going to either make, create a different category for it or, or I'm going to do something about it or delete it or probably not <laughs> or, or do something about it, you know, because like I'm not 100% certain for series that I haven't seen in short period of time, you know. Uh, bodyguard servants. Ha! Edwin's bravely golden blood, golden blood the movie, and Kim Porsche the series. I should not like probably explain this further, right? Because bodyguards. Why did I put their servants as well? Is because of 
irresistible love. I remember vividly that the other main male lead was kind of uh, hopsing and jumping around the first main male lead who was rich. And I kind of connected it with servant, though it was as well probably a friend in big like part of it, and he was probably as well a colleague, but I'm not one hundred percent sure about it. So these three are kind of given; they are bodyguards stories. Where your eyes linger, I don't really remember. Never let me go. Clear cut bodyguard story. The next prince hopefully clear card bodyguard story but i'm just excited about it uh i'm very great uh, like i'm as well great uh, i'm happy that i could in those two lists put as well uh, love upon a time looking forward to that project uh rebirth i guess this was something wild chinese and yeah chinese it was it was a, a movie i am not sure of i i uh Okay, for <gasps> it was this one. So bodyguard servant as well. Because there is like four Chinese movies with the kind of approximately similar type of we are old but we are gay stuff, and it, they blur for me. It's specifically this movie. Uh, and then I think it's. Uh, this wait a second this one this one this one the first f the the last three movies from the first row f like if you go like backwards this one from the second row that we will go backwards and maybe there is some more uh, well but mostly I think this these four I just don't know I never know which is which with the exception of this one where I know that uh, the film and the reality or the, the real life kind of intertwined interestingly for me so it was not bad and it was specifically Chinese and I loved it very much so I kind of know always which is this one but I get confused about this 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 and very similar for me in my eyes is as well this one though it's probably you are going to agree with me that it is nothing like that but a frozen flower though the, there is spoiler alert the main lead does not end up with the the other main main lead but with a woman yeah so that is that like did when the i don't know irresistible love is there for that reason so this one and 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 this one that is not there it's not there it's not there. I didn't put it there. Ooh, wait a second. Where were we? Ah, uh, yeah. D I didn't put here. Oh, I did because this is this one and this the the main uh, picture is just confusing. No, this is not it. This 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 is exactly what I was talking about. Okay, <laughs> and this one and I don't have it in there. Fuck, then I should... Okay, I should edit there. So, the re rebirth. Ah, oh, I see now. I have it here. It is here. Ah. So, uh, this one, this one, this one, I would as well uh, put into the category of servants. These four, five-ish are clear-cut bodyguards. This is probably going to be uh, clear-cut bodyguards as well, where your eyes linger. I don't know. <gasps> I know now, maybe. Mm. Yeah, bodyguards. I agree with the decision of my drama list, who is just taking, you know, th they are scrutinizing the text, and people are constantly arguing about what text should be put and imply there. So it's kind of, you can rely on the text on my drama list, but, but, and here is a big but, not big but, but big but the word. Uh, sometimes I would put something in a, into a category because it's a clear cut for me of some genre, but because probably some other texts are or categories, subcategories, themes are more important for the series, they don't put it there. 
So in some instances, you will not find that specific series audiovisual under the tag that should be there, which is for in this case Romance Office. But they don't put it there as well. If you have there a bodyguard, you are probably not going to find their boss employee relationship or romance office relationship. So be be uh, be careful and be aware of it. Uh, show me more from the series, please, because I don't clearly remember. It's so much clear. I clearly don't remember it as good as I should. <gasps> Yeah, now I know. I, I yeah, I know. I know now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, kind of as well servant bodyguard, because here is the deal. Because mostly the bodyguard stuff starts to get interesting only when you make out of the the person who is doing the bodyguard your servant. Sometimes it's the other way around that the bodyguard is the most brightest, cleverest one, and you are the idiot. But many times, at least this attempt of making him or her <laughs> your servant is, you know, is the is the big theme of those bodyguards, audiovisuals, audiovisuals of the series of the storytelling. I introduced it to you now. I'm going to work on it further. So okay. Ah, uh -huh. I'm going just to. Yeah. So I hope you are going to visit. I hope you are going to enjoy and use it. I hope you are going to like it, and I'm going. I hope you are going to support it by watching it. Stay tuned. Let me know if you wish some other type of lists as well. I am going to try to provide it for you because it's even interesting for me because I didn't expect that I am going to uh, divide and subcategorize romance of his genre, but it's obviously that it's a big difference, at least for people and from the narrative of societies. If it is like a romance office that is uh, generated between boss and employee and if it is generated between uh, colleagues and if it is generated, like if it is bodyguard stories, basically. They are so few in number and we are so much loving them, right? So at least as well, it's a good overview of what type of stories we are lacking in the audiovisual department. Yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. How it, how it was? <laughs> Can you tell me, please, how this one was? Okay. Yeah, perfect. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Have a nice day. Take care. Stay tuned. Sorry, I didn't react to some uh, other video, but I uh, had I I felt like I need to introduce that I needed to introduce you uh, to this one because people don't know. People are still searching for it people don't think about it like that and people are thinking differently about it one uh it would be cool if more of these lists exist from different people so we know and can compare the type of categorization we are creating for it and please don't forget to follow my other platforms and social medias uh one of them would be the blog that we are uh, currently kind of doing a reaction video for right uh, you can find all of those on my main page of YouTube, which is I'm going to go through here. Uh, my channel, uh, my channel. Here they are. This is the blog on Vlogger. Uh, following my Twitter is beneficial for you because no matter what I try to post it currently, from now on I'm trying to post it here on my Twitter with text so you can find it easily and you can have like kind of basic and very easy overview of where I post it and upload it here what uh, my blog uh, then the most important one is my patreon where uh, most of my reaction videos are backed up and uh, yeah backed up because of YouTube f from YouTube and following my TikTok is beneficial for you because I post the highlights of reaction videos I do for my paid Patreons and that are not allowed on YouTube. So I sometimes post highlights, highlights here. It's for example highlights for my reaction video of uh, Hannibal, the series, but as well step by step uh, 
this is one thing so you can get to some of my reaction videos uh, from my some of my reaction videos at least parts of it the most like my highlights of these from somewhere else including YouTube sometimes but as well like you can you can get to do those stuff anywhere else but on my patreon but if you don't or can't afford it or blah 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 you can watch at least snippets out of it if you are interested in a specific series you can watch snippets here on my tiktok uh, and as well i plan on back up here what is on my youtube channel that is under 30 minutes something like that so just you know and you are uh, connected with me uh, as well i should remind it uh you know like setting account on my on patreon is for free and following me is for free so i would be really grateful if you did it and let me know guys let me know for now i hope you feel informed bye bye